Microbiologic endpoints in clinical trials assess the proportion of the study population achieving microbiological cure following treatment with an antibiotic. To demonstrate microbiological cure, both baseline and post-baseline samples need to be taken at set time points and culture results from these samples must be available. Analysis of these samples leads to the determination of either eradication, where the original causative pathogen at baseline is no longer grown from a post-baseline culture, or persistence, where the pathogen is still present in the post-baseline samples. The collection of post-baseline samples can be more easily achieved in certain infections, for example, urinary tract infections, where sampling the relevant site, in this case the urine, is easy to do. However, other sites, such as include sputum samples from pneumonia or intra-abdominal swabs, may not be as easy to obtain in all patients. Where post-baseline samples are not available, presumed microbiological response is often used, and this is assessed based on resolution or clinical signs and symptoms, also known as clinical cure. Where clinical cure is present, presumed eradication will be assessed. However, where there is a clinical failure, presumed persistence would be assessed. Relapse is defined as isolation of the original causative pathogen in a subsequent post-baseline culture after there had been previous eradication. Microbiologic endpoints may be either primary or secondary, and this varies depending on the disease under study and also the design of the study itself.